My Lord, we know the strength and weaknesses of the police as it is now. In Nigeria, the whole area, let me say in the whole municipality, we have just one police station. The strength level is very, very low. Equipment. So when we want to use the, the books and say that, wait, go and confront them, reach this stage before you call RESEC, and RESEC will call this person before they order the military, why not? We will not be sitting here. If we had to go through that process, we will not be sitting here. Because, as I said earlier, the situation was fluid. And it was not like an organized contingent or group of people from where you can. Most, most of them were children or young men, let me put it that way. In fact, young men and, and, and women. There were guests and those things inside. So, in Nigeria, under our circumstances, we wouldn't want to hear of that book. As I said, you can see that the interagency kind of cooperation and collaboration that was needed was not there. As a result, what do you think Nananum or what do Nananum think should be done, particularly for Idra, specifically, and for the nation at large, so that we don't see these things in the numbers that we are seeing? Them? We think, one, we need to strengthen the hands of the police in Nigeria. We need to resource them. Two, the, as we get more and more senior officers on the ground, there are certain things that will be done better or well. Beyond that, Nana Ibrahim, on several fora, has requested or insisted the need to establish a military detachment in Nigeria, from Kumasi all the way down about 90 kilometers down up to Yeji and all those areas. There's no military detachment. 